Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolobe. Now, if you want to buy a phone under the 20,000 rupees price segment, there are a lot of options out there. But there are two phones which stand out from the competition. Those are Redmi Note 8 Pro and Realme X2. Now, when it comes to the question of which phone to buy between both of these phones, it gets really confusing because both of these phones offer a great value and it's a tough decision. But do not worry, I have used the Redmi Note 8 Pro as well as the Realme X2 and today in this video, let's find out which phone is better for which use case and effectively which phone is better for you. So I'm not going to talk about the similarities between both of these phones. I'd rather spend all my energies on talking about the major differences because those are going to be the deciding factors. The first major difference is in terms of the display. Redmi Note 8 Pro comes with an LCD display with a resolution of Full HD+. And on the other hand, Realme X2 comes with an AMOLED display with the same resolution. Now it's pretty clear, AMOLED is way better than LCD and Realme X2 has a way better display than Redmi Note 8 Pro. Realme X2 display is more punchy in terms of the colors, it has a better contrast ratio, it has deeper blacks and it's just a better experience overall. So things like watching movies, playing games or in general navigating to the UI are way better on Realme X2. And when it comes to the overall display experience, Realme X2 is just a better phone. Now with that AMOLED display, Realme X2 also has an in-display fingerprint sensor and it is very fast. Like I did not expect the in-display fingerprint sensor to be so fast. It is almost as fast as a physical fingerprint sensor. And talking about a physical fingerprint sensor, the Redmi Note 8 Pro has a rare mounted physical fingerprint sensor and it is equally fast and accurate. So when it comes to the fingerprint sensor, it's a tie and both of these phones are great. Now the second major difference is in terms of what lies under the hood. So Realme X2 comes with a Snapdragon 730G processor. On the other hand, Redmi Note 8 Pro comes with a Mediatek Helio G90T processor. Redmi Note 8 Pro starts at 6GB of RAM and goes up to 8GB of RAM and Realme X2 starts at 4GB of RAM and goes up to 8GB of RAM. One awesome thing with both of these phones is that they come with a dedicated micro SD card slot so you can expand your storage and that is awesome. Now when it comes to the actual performance, both of these phones are great. They do not drop a sweat, they are champs and under 20,000 rupees, both of these phones are excellent when it comes to the performance. But Realme X2 has a slight edge over Redmi Note 8 Pro because it comes with a Snapdragon processor. So Mediatek chipsets have a disadvantage when it comes to Google camera and also custom ROM development and that is the case with Redmi Note 8 Pro. There is no good Google camera port as of yet for Redmi Note 8 Pro and even custom ROM development isn't that good. When it comes to Realme X2, it has a Snapdragon processor and I'm pretty sure that custom ROM development is going to be awesome for that phone. It already has like a lot of Google camera ports out there and more will come in the future. So if you're a person who likes to install Gcam and custom ROMs, then it's a no-brainer. Realme X2 is clearly better because of that Snapdragon processor. Now let's go ahead and talk about software. So neither of these phones come with a clean experience. Both of these phones have heavy skins on top of Android. Redmi Note 8 Pro has MIUI and Realme X2 has Color OS. And I personally like MIUI better. Like MIUI is just better than Color OS. I'm hoping that Color OS 7 will be better than MIUI. Like I'm expecting it to be better. But Color OS 7 isn't available for Realme X2 as of yet. It will come in March 2020. So yeah, there's still three months, like over three months and you'll have to wait for ColorOS 7. But right now, like as of this date, Redmi Note 8 Pro has a better UI in my experience because MIUI is just better. Now, one more difference between both of these phones is in terms of the battery capacity. Note 8 Pro has a 4,500 mAh battery and Realme X2 has a 4,000 mAh battery. Now, when it comes to the actual performance of the battery, Note 8 Pro is slightly better because of that LCD display. So it has an LCD display and that gives it better battery life. When it comes to fast charging, both of these phones support fast charging via the USB Type-C port. Note 8 Pro has 18W fast charging and the charger is inside the box. But Realme X2 has 30W fast charging and the charger is inside the box. 
so when it comes to the overall battery factor i would say both of these phones are equally good noted pro has a bigger battery but slightly slower charging and realme x2 has a slightly smaller battery but faster charging so yeah it's like a tie when it comes to the overall battery point okay so what about them cameras realme x2 and redmi note 8 pro have the exact same camera setup they have four cameras on the back 64 megapixel primary camera 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera a macro camera and a depth sensor so the camera hardware is exactly the same but that does not mean that both of these phones perform equally good when it comes to clicking photos we all know that software plays an equally important role when it comes to clicking photos so which phone is better for clicking photos I personally like Note 8 Pro better because it has more natural colors, better dynamic range and better detail level as well. So that's just my personal preference, but you guys let me know your choice. I'll drop a poll in the i button over here. So please let me know what do you think and according to you which phone is better when it comes to clicking photos. Now when it comes to the front camera, Note 8 Pro absolutely crushes the Realme X2. Note 8 Pro has better detail level, better dynamic range, better contrast, more natural colors and it's just better when it comes to the front camera. So now let's go back to the question, which phone is better and which one should you buy? So according to me, if your budget is strictly 15,000 rupees and you cannot go above 15,000 rupees, then go ahead and buy the Note 8 Pro. On the other hand, if you can spend 2000 rupees more or 3000 rupees more, then go with the Realme X2 because you are getting that better display, in display fingerprint sensor, faster charging, and an equally good experience when it comes to performance and cameras. So, yeah, that's my final verdict. If you have 15,000 rupees, nothing more, then go for Note 8 Pro. But if you can extend your budget, then buy the Realme X2 and call it a day. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one.